When it comes to protecting mission critical applications, most customers will do high availability. And what that means is we'll have the application running here, and we'll have another uh, system or server running the application as well. And we might have shared storage so that if this server creates a problem, uh, we, can, we can spin this one up and be back up and running with uh, very little downtime. It doesn't necessarily have to be shared storage. It could also be storage on each system and then that is synchronously mirrored between the two systems. So you can go either way with it. Now, the challenge with this is number one, it's a standalone process from your data protection. So one thing I haven't drawn in here is backups. Remember that all this is happening synchronously or very rapid replication so that if there's a database corruption here, that corruption works its way onto the other system very quickly. And so you still need to do regular backups. So that means I still have my backup process running out here to some sort of backup device, okay? So this now is two separate processes I'm running to accomplish the same goal. The other challenge is this kind of a clustered setup is fairly complex and is also expensive. Also, the software vendors that you would use in this space to do that uh, charge a premium for the clustered versions of their applications. Now, there's another way to go, uh, a feature that we call recovery in place. Recovery in place, outside of the mission critical aspect of it, basically does this. So if I have a application here, and let's say it's not clustered, I'm not doing any high availability, and I have either local or shared storage, I'm backing that up to a backup server, which of course I would normally do, and then those backups are of course being stored on the backup volume. Now, what happens in a recovery in place scenario is that I am able to start the data volume directly off the recovery device, okay? Unlike in the old days, what I would have to do is copy all this data back over and that can take time. Now what I can do is instead of making that copy is I can direct the application directly to this, let's call it a virtual volume. That, that saves me the time of copying everything over and I can bring things up in minutes instead of uh, you know an hour or so. So that really helps. Now the other key feature that's come up about in backup software is the concept of change block or block level incremental backups. What that is, is instead of every time I do a backup I have to copy all the information over, all I'm doing is copying just the change segments of data that have changed since the last backup. So what that means, if I'm doing a backup say every hour, I'm backing up a fraction of the data that I used to have to protect on a regular basis. So it's a huge advantage from that standpoint. Now, where does all that fit in versus high availability? Well, so a couple of advantages that recovery in place have. First of all, it is one solution now. It's integrated right into my backup process. Number two, it's much more cost effective. If there's a failure, I don't need to, I don't have the, all this cluster and things like that that I have to manage. And number three, my cutover time or my uh, comeback time is relatively quick. It's not the seconds that a high availability solution is. It's measured more in minutes, but for applications that can sustain a couple minutes of downtime, which frankly most applications can, this is a much more cost effective solution. It's much simpler to manage. Now, the only got caveat here is if I have a server failure, right? This works really well if I have a, 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 a storage system failure, but virtualization changes all that, right? We don't now typically run one app on one server. We typically have a bunch of virtual machines running and I have a bunch of hosts running. So if this whole server failed, I can migrate all those virtual machines over to these other servers and then tr directly attach to the storage. If I have a storage failure, then I can instantiate the volume over here and point those VMs there. So what, what happens is you can get very close to high availability for a lot less money and a lot greater simplicity. So that's a, a real option to consider. I'm not saying that you don't do high availability. You probably do a lot less of it. 
and then start to use recovery in place type of technology more frequently. And this becomes especially important as we see an explosion in the number of applications that uh, the typical corporation is running nowadays, where you, in 10 years ago, you would have two or three really, really critical applications. Now you probably have those same two or three applications plus a dozen applications that have been created in the meantime. And those applications typically fall into that minute to two minute window, and that's where recovery in place can really help you. Thanks for joining us. I'm George Crump, lead analyst with Storage Switzerland.